1991 Astra GTE 2 litre 16 valve to Mark II. Not very often you see these things come up for sale. Current owner has uh, current vendors had this for some time. Um, it was off the road for a while. He put it back on the road for a year, um, took it out, and someone very kindly did that at the car park. Uh, so when he came back, that's what he found. He then put it back away because um, he was quite upset over that. Right, we'll start at the front. Front bumper looks good there. Uh, there is a dent there, right on the nose of the bonnet. You can see that in the in the camera there, but it catches your eye in the light there. We'll go around. Um, like I say, it's just been left in a in the gentleman's garage for the last year, I believe. Um, Presents itself pretty well. There's no front wing looks good. It is silver in places. The the, the metallic is a little bit cloudy. Um, you can't really see that on the camera. But this back arch. Nothing going on there really. Um, I'll show you that dent again. As you can see there. But the arch, there's a nice lip on the back of the arch. You know, there's no rust coming through there that I, I can certainly feel. And the plastics are a little bit faded, but nothing that can't be fixed really. Um, I'm just going to go back to that dent so everyone can have a look at that. Right, right on the back of the arch there, on the swage line. Onto the rear bumper. You know, a little bit of a mark there. We'll go around on the tailgate. But like I say, not really, you see these come up for sale very often. It's a little bit here. Um, on the top of the tailgate there. Across there, it looks all right. It's had a, if you check the website, there's loads of details on this car because it has had some engine work done to it, a rebuild. Um, and I believe the vendor's got all the paperwork for that. Like I say, a little bit hazy down this side. Looks like it wants a good polish as well. Onto that arch there. Nice and straight, nothing nothing seems to be going on there at all. Back bumper's not too bad, sitting a little bit. If you can see that there. On the passenger side, that door's got some scratches and looks like where the polish has dropped back, you can see on the front wing as well. It looks a bit hazy down this side. Oh, very small amount there. We'll go on the roof because there's a little bit of corrosion around the sunroof. I'll show you the passenger side first. There's a couple of little bubbles there. Come round here. The back of it's absolutely fine. We'll go around the driver's side. Where it is. That's the worst part. So when he put it away, when he pulled it out, that's what he found after a year away and it was off the road for a while before that. But cheese, please, cheese, please check our website uh, for all the information about the engine work that's been done. It'll be a lot more detailed onto there. Right, onto the interior. Bit of wear, a hole there on the driver's seat. Back seats look in good condition. The headlining is coming down a little bit as well, but only ever so slightly there. Once a good, good clean in there. Driver's uh, passenger seat, sorry, that's all nice. There's a little tiny amount of wear there, but no rips or anything on there. Top of the dash is all nice, centre console's good. Uh, I've driven this car around the yard, seems to drive stop and start pretty all right. Selects all the gears. I'm gonna just put that on so you can see the digital dash there. That's what everybody wants on one of these, want to see they're all working. And there you have it. See the manager as well. We'll go around to the boot. In the boot here, I've got the carpet up there. You can see it's had a couple of patches at some point in its life, but not uncommon at all, really. Go around the engine bay, we'll go around that, and we'll get it started up. The engine bay here, nice and clean in there. All nice in there, very nice and clean in there. A little bit of it. I've through there where the product has been sitting. Fired straight up there, no problems at all with that. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. There you have it, Mark II Astra GTE. Any more information everybody wants on any of our vehicles, please give us a call, an email, 
uh, Facebook message, anything like that, we can go through them. If there's any specific photos you'd like, and if you know what you're looking at and want, you know, photos of chat and points, anything like that, just give us a ring and we'll, we'll go through that with you. We're doing FaceTime calls as well. Please check the website for any other details on this vehicle with all the paperwork we've got. Thank you.